Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving the people of Elgeo Marakwe this opportunity. Honorable Speaker, first one to the provision of Standing Order 43. I wish to make a statement regarding the untimely passing on of a marathon world record holder, Mr. Kevin Kiptum, on Sunday, 11 February 2024. Honorable Speaker, members will recall that on 12 October 2023, I rose under Standing Order 259D to notify the House of the Great Achievement of Mr. Kevin Kiptum, who had, who had on 8th October 2023 broken the world record holder. Order, order, honorable members, order whips. Can we hear the honorable Ngeleche in some reasonable degree of silence? I know there's exuberance of post holiday. <laughs> Go on, Ngaleche. Let me start it again, Honorable Speaker. TK. TK. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you once again for giving the people of Elgeo Marakwe this opportunity. Pass one to the provision of Standing Order 43. I wish to make a statement regarding the untimely passing on of a marathon world record holder, Mr. Kevin Kiptum, on Sunday, 11 February 2024. Honorable Speaker, members will recall that on 12 October 2023, I rose under Standing Order 259D to notify the House of the Great Achievements of Mr. Kevin Kiptum, who had on 8th October 2023 broken the world marathon record at Chicago Marathon, becoming the fastest marathoner in the world with a time of 2 hours and 35 seconds, Mr. Speaker. Indeed, the tribute of the House to the national hero were recorded with great compliments. Honorable Speaker, it is therefore with a heavy heart that today the nation mourns the loss of, of this great sportsman following a tragic road accident on 11 February 2023. At the young age of 24 years, Mr. Kiptum had achieved what many athletes would only dream of. He had successfully conquered Valencia, Chicago, London Marathon, among other top competition, to which he has left a triumphant legacy as the fastest marathoner of his time, Mr. Speaker. Indeed, it was expected that this conquering sequence would be replicated in the upcoming 2024 Olympics. Honorable uh, Speaker, Mr. Kiptum's narrative transcends the mere passage of time standing as a, statement, as a test, uh, testament of his unyielding determination of an, uh, and unwavering fortitude. He was a beacon of hope not only to the people of his village, Chetsamo village, his ward, Kaptarakwa ward, KO South constituency of Elgeo Marakwet County, but also to the many in the country and beyond. I wish to therefore take this early opportunity to condole with the family and his friends of the late Mr. Kevin Kiptum, the athletics fraternity, and the people of Kenya at large for the loss of the extraordinary sportsman. Honorable Speaker, with your indulgence, May I request that we all, we, stand, we all stand to observe a minute of silence in honor of the departed sportsman. All the honorable members, can you be upstanding? Can we all be upstanding? And let's observe a minute of silence in honor of the young hero. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Amen. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Galeche, you have done the speaker's job. <laughs> <laughs> I will now allow three on either side, member for Keio South. Member for Keio South.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Gideon. I join my colleague, uh, the woman Rabo Belkeo Marakwet, in mourning the demise of Kelvin Kiptum. Kelvin Kiptum comes from my constituency. Take two minutes, sir. Huh? Uh, in a village called Chepsamu, and we are actually neighbors at home. I knew Kelvin Kiptum personally. We've interacted. He was a member of athletics committee in my constituency and we are planning great things together we sympathize with the family we mourn uh, with the family uh, his spouse uh, the father and the mother actually Kelvin was the only son in that family the only child actually we, we, we mourn with the constituency of KO South I lead the constituency in mourning the death of Kelvin. But Mr. Speaker, as we mourn the death of Kelvin, some actions must be taken by the Ministry of Sports. We remember the death of Wanjiru, who was a promising star. Actually, he died at the age of 24, the same as Kelvin Kiptum. Another several, we remember the lady who was killed in the under mysterious circumstances. So we call on the Ministry of Sports that they must take our athletes seriously. Because some of them are young and they are promising uh, careers, but they are left on their own. But when they are outside there, when they represent Kenya, we all celebrate. But once they are here, they are left on their own. We must ask the Ministry of Sports to support our athletes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member for thank you. Member. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. The constituency of Langata joins the whole country in mourning the death of Kelvin Kiptum, a rising star. And uh, this is so sad that he was supposed to represent the country in the 2024 Olympics in Paris, France. But even as we mourn the death of Kelvin, even as we mourn the death of Kelvin, having listened to what his father said, I think there should be a thorough investigation, a thorough investigation to what actually caused the accident. And apart from that, we need and request that our athletes be treated as VIPs and be given security. And all our top athletes who represent this country bring the accolades and they're always just celebrated. Immediately, they will get their medals. After that, they are forgotten about. Kindly, we request that a thorough investigation be done to the cause of this accident that led to the death of Kelvin Kiptum. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mama Zamzam. Sante sana, Mwishmi wa Speaker. Na mimi kama Mama Mombasa, na chukua furusa hii, kutoa rambirambi zangu za pole, pamoja na wakazi wa Mombasa, kwa familia ya Kelvin Kiptum. Alikuwa ni shuja, alikuwa kijana mahiri katika ambio, Na mimi sana na weza kupeleka pole zangu kwa babake ambaye lilia sana kwa uchungu Akisema ni mtoto waki wa peke Na alisema mwishmi wa speaker ni kinukuu kuwa kuna watu walikuenda nyumbani Alikuwa hajui ni watu gani lakini wakawa metisema ametuma kutoka sahem flani Kwa hiyo na mimi pia na weza kupigia pondo ni kisema Hii yake ichunguzo ejulikaniwe Pengine kuna mkono wa mtu wa manivipi mwishmi wa speaker Na siya ye peke yake mwishmi wa speaker, ni kumbuke pia na mabinti zetu wa tutu wetu wa kiki ambao meuliwa hivi karibu ni ovyo ovyo. Mwezi mungu pia na anama mwishmi wa speaker, pia natuwa rambirambi zangu za pole kwa familia zao, na niweze kusema kuwa serikali, niweze kuangalia vifo hivi vinavotokia haso kwa kina mama, ni vipo vya kusikisisha sana. Sante sana mwishmi wa speaker. Member for Endeavors. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker, sir, for allowing me to join my colleagues in sending message of condolence to the family of our athlete, 
Dr. Kelvin Kiptum. Honorable Speaker, this is a very sad moment for our country and for a young man at the age of 24 losing his life at, the, at just not even before his prime. Honorable Speaker, I think what I would urge the Ministry of uh, Sports to do is that we need to have a culture or a, a format in which we are able to cancel our athletes, make sure that we are able to advise them on how to even, uh, once they qualify to become good athletes, they can be able to be guided properly so that they can be able to live in a more better way. Especially, Honorable Speaker, sometimes you look at some of the athletes who have made this country great and you look at the life they are leading is in abject poverty after many years of doing very well, making a lot of money for the country and for themselves and then ending up in a miserable state. So we need to be able to even guide them on how they can invest and make better lives for themselves later on. We've seen some who have done very successfully. We've seen uh, recently the others who have even put up the lower village in Eldoret, which is a very innovative way of retirement. So, Honorable Speaker, I want to join the, the colleagues to say pole sana to the family of Kelvin Kiptun, pole sana to the parent losing his only son, and pole to my colleague, the member for Kenya South, for the loss of his constituent. Irene Mayaka. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the young people of Kenya to express my sincere condolences to Kelvin Kiptum and also to his Rwandese coach, who also perished in the same road accident. And Honorable Speaker, I just want to join my colleagues, even as we say pole to the family, having lost a dependent. And this goes back to the question that uh, Honorable Martha Wangari raised, because we raised questions here concerning the sports, the nature of the insurance and the life insurance for our sports people, so that even such families can get to benefit from life insurance. Honorable Speaker, secondly, I just also want to express my um, condolences to the people of Kenya and also to just say that in the last two days, we've seen a lot of insensitive information going out on social media. And I'd just like to urge fellow Kenyans that we should not jump into conclusions and we should be very careful in terms of the things that you're saying out there because they're insensitive and they're not fair to the family. Honorable Speaker, once again, my sincere apologies to the family and to my colleague, uh, the member of Elgeo uh, Marakwet, and also to Keio. Thank you. Mutunga, member for... Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for the opportunity to also... Pass on my condolences to the family of uh, Kelvin Kipun. Our speaker, this is a young man who was right at the top of the world, having worked his way through. Our speaker was an encouragement to many, and many Kenyans for that matter, because when, the, when he flies the flag of this country, in those areas where he has won marathon, he makes Kenya proud. He takes our position in, on the map. Our speaker, to mourn this young man, this great Linda in Marathon, I call upon the Kenyans who are engaged in this particular game to work very hard and practice very hard to still take this position because it's a Kenyan position. I want to speak out to the family, the friends, and even neighbors of, of uh, yes. this fallen hero. We pass our condolences. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Well, I've taken three, three. I had promised 3-3, three, three. we have done 3-3. Three, three. I think we can uh, stop there, Honorable Tim. You will uh, speak another time. Let's go to the next order. Order number eight, motion, appointment of members to the House Business Committee. Majority Leader.